Hello everybody! So it's been about five minutes since I stopped and I have been banned from the gambling suite. No! Run away from him! Don't let him catch me! Oh well, I'll let him catch me. Okay pal, you've had enough. Time for you to leave. <laughs> Sounds like he's... Where'd your accent go? I'm gone then. Thanks for all the money! You're free to enjoy the shows in the bar, but no more games for you at the tops. Thanks for playing. <laughs> no, thank you. Chairman. Hello. Chairman. Alright, let's go. Well, now we gotta go find the Benny shit. Let's Welcome see. to the tops. How can I help you? How can you help me? I'd like to change my caps for chips. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Never mind, I wanna... Turn in my chips. In what current? Give me my payout of caps. Caps it is. Oh, well, that's it. Goodbye. Thank you and enjoy your stay at the top. <laughs> All the bottle caps I've got. Holy shit. Nice. I think I can buy the rest of my, uh... Oh, uh, the rest of my, uh, what's it called? The re Oh, God. Where am I going? The rest of the implants now. Yay! Yes, I wanted to go to the Aces Theaters first. So let's see, open up the door to Aces Theaters. Ah, okay, let's see. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Bartender, Red Pack dealer, Tommy Tatori. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, <laughs> and how can I make your night? Torini, tell me about this theater. Well, it was my idea. Well... Me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. What do you think about Benny? Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Any idea where he goes to when he disappears like that? Well, now, you didn't hear this from Tommy. But Benny likes to go off on a bender now and then. Usually he's only gone a couple of days, but this last time, nobody saw him for almost a month. Ask me, I think he's got a dame from Gamora. Hold up oh, in yeah? the suite, because nobody ever saw him leave it. Oh, wow, in a suite. Mm -hmm. So what do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to ah. be its headline act. Every night from 8 headset. till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live. Only right here at the Aces Theater. Really? What kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now. But every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Ooh, I might have to check it out. Maybe I can help you find some more acts for your show. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Uh, make it 5% and you've got a deal. Ooh, yes. a shop customer. All right, all right. 5% it is. Sweet. What other entertainment is there on the strip? Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New <laughs> Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the Tops, that's for sure. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Hmm. All right, well then, goodbye. Take it easy, baby. You yeah, will, baby. Well, no, no, even his hands don't match his head. Maybe it wasn't a world of pain. Maybe it's the ultimate Mojave bug upgrade fix. But that don't make sense. Why would they... <laughs> are they saying that black people are a bug that need to be fixed or something? Well, oh, wait. No, no. I want to go to Benny Sweet. Where was it? It has to go this way. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, I'm getting a little motion sickness here. Okay, I gotta stop. All right, let's go. Thirteenth floor, baby. Hmm. Uh, 
I use the key, get in buddies. You gonna get in here, Boone? Or are you just gonna be shot? Close the door. Alright, anything cool in here? Open nope. Pre war bonnet. Ooh, pre war money. Pre war money. Pre war money. Suitcase. Dresser. Hmm. Whoa! 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 Look at this. Yes, man. Hey! Hi there. Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? What are you doing here? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes Man, what kind of name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. <laughs> Have you seen Benny? He was around here not too long ago. He's probably down on the casino floor now. Hmm. You can wait for him here if you like. I'm incapable of asking you to leave. <laughs> Benny stole a platinum trip from me. Do you know where what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. Ooh. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Fortification Hill, where the hell's that? Uh, what's Benny planning to do with the chip? Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Most prominently, his Securitrons. And then I just do what Benny tells me. Easy peasy! Ooh. Can that actually be done? Sure! If the chip could be used to reset administrator privileges, it'll be super easy. What if I wanted to take over New Vegas instead of Benny? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. <laughs> what are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Ooh. Say, Mr. Say, Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. Hmm. I've been inside the Lucky 38. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. <laughs> I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. What do you know about the courier Benny shot? I knew she was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for her. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip? Just in the last year alone? Holy shit. Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact routes and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? 
I'm the courier, Benny Shot. <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. I'm serious. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. Uh, so where is the platinum chip? Benny carries it with him at all times. I think he's paranoid that someone might want to take it from him. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Woo. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. No, it's not. Uh, so once I get the platinum chip, what then? I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kerpow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it, after all. Hmm. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know when it's done, and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is going to be great. I'm going to help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. <laughs> So I should just ask these tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Oh. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, Go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. So which tribes should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this strip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Let's talk about the tribes I should get to know. Of course, ask away. What do you know about the boomers? They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. <laughs> if they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion or NCR, though, well, that'd be neat, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. I'll get to you. I'll get back to you about the boomers. Take all the time you need. Anything else I can help with? Hmm. Tell me about the great cons. The cons are just—they're a dirty people. They live in tents That's like mean. animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. How have the cons been kicked around? They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. Sheesh. I need to take some more time with the cons. You set the pace. Anything else I can help with? Uh, what do you know about the Omertas? Hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Ooh. Do you know anything else about the Amartas? Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. <laughs> he hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something. Because he said they always are. Hmm. I'll check into the Gomer Omerta some more. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. Anything else I can help with? Hmm. Uh, what you know about the White Glove Society? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. I'll let you know when I'm done evaluating the White Glove Society. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. <laughs> Anything I like else this guy. I can help with? Uh, 
Uh, where should I look for the Brotherhood of Steel? Some of Mr. House's data said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. Hmm. What do you know about the Brotherhood of Steel? They go around in big suits of power armor and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. Ooh. I'm not ready to decide what I want to do with the Brotherhood yet. No rush. Take your time. Take my Anything time. Anything else I can help with? Uh, no, not yet. Let's talk about something else. You bet. Uh, so Benny reprograms a Securitron all by himself? Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. Ooh. But that's all I remember. Uh, what is this place? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. <laughs> you said something about a bunker at the fort. Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. Hmm. I'll go check it out. Neat. Let me know what you find out. Awesome. Okay, well, goodbye. See you around. Sweet. Option 05, Mr. House's center box should be behind that, leaving himself out of the front. Ooh, verification heal. Broken terminal, broken terminal, broken terminal! Open door. Nope, nothing around here. Elevator to sub basement. Requires a key. I don't think I have the key. Oh well, let's go talk to Swak. Swank. Sweaky, sweaky, swaka. Swaka, 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 swaka. Let's go back and talk to him. We learned a lot from the yes man. He was yesy. <laughs> okay, that doesn't really. That's not that funny. Sorry, folks. Bad joke is bad. Hey, your mama, what's the haps? Mama, I'm not a mama yet. Are, are you implying you want to make me a mama? You're back. Find anything? Benny has reprogrammed a Securitron. He's trying to take over the strip. He's what? Ah, jeez. Jeez, this is really bad. What are you gonna do? I thought maybe I'd talk to the man, see if we can work out a deal. Yeah, that's ballsy. Good luck with that. Yeah. Little birdies tell me you've been to visit the Lucky 38. Not a lot of folks go in there these days. Alright. Okay, well, goodbye. Don't be a sh Work out some kind of deal. Hey, there's the high roller. So where is Benny? Benny's over this way, huh? Sweet. So you know what? Sounds awesome. And I'm going to wait here for now. So thank you all so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Until then, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.